Hey everybody, Milby here, and welcome to something I wasn't sure I was going to do until about a minute or two ago. So, this is the, the Binding of Isaac, I suppose. Let's, let's, let's turn that to high. Uh, medium, uh, high. Yeah, we'll keep it medium, just in case. Sometimes it gets a little bit messy. Um, yeah, so welcome to the Binding of Isaac, everybody. This is an old game. Uh, it's pretty old now. In fact, there's a new version coming out sometime this year, so I don't know when that'll be. That'll probably... But, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I just, um, I basically just sat here. Just before I started this, I sat and watched a man named The Legend of Zahir on, uh, Twitch. Which is a live streaming channel, if you've never heard of it. Um, I tweeted out about watching him defeat this game with his feet. And he'd never played this game before with his hands. He's not, he's not like, he doesn't, he doesn't, he's not like disabled. He doesn't, he can't not use his hands. He just likes playing games with his feet and he's good at it. Um, he'd never played this game before with his hands. He just picked it up and played with his feet and he beat uh, Mum after, uh, after his first few goes or something like that. It was really impressive. He just, I watched him beat him. I watched him beat her and it was like, I've never seen a man look more ecstatic on my life. And he's a very, he's a very happy and cheerful guy. He's also beat Majora's Mask with his feet, and uh, Wind Waker HD with his feet. I'm amazed that he can beat those games with his feet. It's, it's insane. Um, <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be talking about him more in the future because uh, I can see him going places. He's got a good novelty going on there. <laughs> and anyway, so it made me want to play The Binding of Isaac, and um, I was like, why don't I just do like a series on it for a while? I'll just do a series on it until the new version comes out, and then I'll just play that and as a series. So we'll see if this works or not. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm going to play in this with a uh, with a controller, uh, my Xbox controller. Uh, I've geared it all up so my analog sticks are set to movement. One's analog stick set to movement, one's to shoot. I've also got the D-pad set to movement and X, Y, B, and A set to shoot in kit because sometimes um, certain there's a certain power or something like that that I find was easier to control that way. But uh, I've also and I have um, this thing is escape maps to start and I have uh, left bumper, left trigger, and right trigger map to something else. I don't remember what, so I have to try and work that out as I play. <laughs> Boy, this sh should be fun. Oops, sorry about that. That is not what you want to see. That was what I mapped my stuff out as. Oh dear. Um, never mind. We'll just let's roll with that. Um, yeah, let's let's go with it. I don't know how this is gonna go, so let's just see how it goes. If it goes well, we'll may do more. If it doesn't go well, then we won't. May not do more. I deleted my save. Uh, start again. Fresh save. And uh, yeah, let's let's have a go. Start. Isaac. Start. Okay, so I think spacebar is left trigger, Q is right trigger, and oh shit, there you go, see, there you go, E is bomb. E is bomb, so let's not, uh, let's not do that again. Right, so what have we got here, what have we got here? I do have a, a quick guide to help me with this, so that I can actually do this. The virus, the virus, now the virus, um, that is a. That does 30 depth poison damage per tick on contact with enemies and applies a poison effect which ticks three times for 3.5 damage. Adds uh, speed down a little bit. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Let's carry on. It's poison touch. So now we're going to poison people. As we go, I have my little. I'm gonna try and remember most of them, but I do. I have my little guide here, just to uh, just to remind me, um, like what uh, what some of them do, because I forget, and I want to be able to tell you a lot what they do. Why don't you get poisoned? Oh, there we go. Right. Okay. So uh, let's go down. We have ah, oh, we have the 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 weird little fly. Come here, there you go, get rid of the fly. It's all poop all over the floor. This, if you never played this game before, it's like a, it's like a, a, a. I should probably explain that from the start. I didn't. 
I'm quite tired at the moment. I don't know why I'm recording this right now. Um, it's just like a, you remember the old Legend of Zelda game, like the first one? Yeah, it's like that. You can notice that. It's inspired, I'm pretty sure the, it was in, so it's inspired by that, the original Legend of Zelda, that sort of top-down look. So basically, it's kind of like a roguelike in the sense that every time you die, you start again. Um, with the additional advantages of, like, basically, when you, um... Oh, you, son of, you just touched me, I hate you. <laughs> basically, as you go along, you sort of, like, unlock more items as you, uh, as you play for the game. Which gives it a lot of its replayability and stuff, and you can unlock new characters who have like slightly different starting stats. Basically, you just gain new items as you progress through the game, and they, uh, you know, and they, and they improve the way you play the game. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you, because I'm pretty sure you already know all this, but just in case. Shoop de whoop, space to use. Okay, so I'm trying to be serious space. That's left trigger. So shoop de whoop. We all know what shoop de whoop is. Right? That's that meme. I don't know what that mean. We can't mean. Let's show it anyway. Ready? Shoot the whoop on this guy. Shoot the whoop. There you go. We shoot the whoop on that guy. We shoot whooped him so good. He's now dead. Get rid of this fly. So what I'm doing right now? What am I shooting? You might be wondering. I'm shooting tears out of my eyes. Makes me want to cry. No, not quite yet. Oh, see, if I had that, if I hadn't wasted that bomb accidentally, I would be able to get that chest. But I can't, because I accidentally used a bomb when I was trying to work out what my buttons did. But never mind. So, uh, once you've cleared a room, the best bet is to move on to a boss. Uh, now, in each floor, you have uh, an item room there, um, and uh, that will give you a stack with the gold crown. And uh, the first floor, you don't need to use a key to open it, but on some secret floors, you do. Now, our first boss here is Monstro, which is a head missing a couple of teeth. He's gonna, he, uh, he basically just looks at you with like this goofy sort of, and then does that. As far as I know, that's pretty much all he does. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna like keep at him, keep attacking him for a while. Come on. Oh yeah, look at that. Goofy ass face, like an asshole. You probably smell like an asshole as well. This game is, um, this game is, uh, is a. Uh, a lot of people when they look at this game, they just go, "This game looks gross." And yeah, uh, yeah, the design in it is quite kind of grossy. Uh, but um, it it also has like with it a, a sort of. Um, it's kind of like an adorable. Gross. It's like everything's kind of cute and adorable. It's made by Edmund McMillan. Ed, 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 Ed McMillan? Edmund McMillan? I've forgotten his name. He he made Meat Boy, Super Meat Boy. Um, he, he loves dark shit. Shot speed up. Oh, wait, the whip of now. The whip of nine fails, I believe. Or something like that is what this is called. Apparently, it's pretty crap. It's just naught point two free shot speed up. So that increases our shot speed like a little bit. But apparently it's apparently it's like the speed of not like how fast you shoot bullets, but the speed at which the bullets actually move on the screen. Not the speed at which you shoot bullets, which is what speed up normally does. Or is that tears up? Shot speed up. Yeah, shot speed up, right, basically. It doesn't mean the the, sh the speed at which you shoot shots, it's the speed at which your shots travel. And a lot of people think it's kind of a useless item. Yeah, it's not too bad. I played this game uh, quite a lot in the past. Uh, I remember back when it first was like really popular and came out. Um, when the Raffle Land for, uh, expansion for it came out, which is an expansion that added a, like, a whole bunch of, of new items and uh, bosses to the game. I remember when that came first came out, that um, I was streaming it quite a lot, and it's still it's still streamed very often um, on the on Twitch, which is a great channel that I spend a lot of time streaming on now, every day, 6 p.m. GMT. <laughs> I love promoting myself. Why not? Why can't I promote myself? This is my channel, right? Who else is gonna do it? Right, I'm not gonna use the key on that right now because I'm gonna use the key on the crown because there's not there's a chance I wouldn't get. I think mean, you always get items from the golden chests. Okay, so if we if we did that, if we went in this room, we 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 took damage. Uh, it might give us an item. I think I can't quite remember how those like those rooms work. I think it is if you. 
damage yourself, you'll gain anti- Let's- let's try that. We have, like, a spare heart, so let's see if this does anything. It's probably used my soul heart. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, I don't- I don't- didn't do anything. I think, uh, I think if you take in- if you do enough damage... It's your no, that was- that was an accident. That was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> don't have any money, so these rooms are totally useless to me. Well, crap. That's that's pretty bad. Oh, look at these guys. These are little blob, black blob guys. They shoot off in like a sort of four prong attack. Ooh, ooh, that just saved my bacon. That right there, that is a skeleton key, and it's only active for one floor. Um, and the skeleton key will basically allow me to use any item. Um, any item? I'm not even talking right. Well, they basically allow me to use an infinite amount of keys for this floor. So I don't need to collect keys on this floor, technically, but I should, because they'll be used on level floors. But, so basically, I have that, that key will um, be constantly active. Ooh, I believe that is called the Blood of the Martyr. And um, let me just check what it does so I can inform you guys, because I am woefully terrible. My memory is so bad, yes. Adds plus one damage and adds a, a times point one point five damage multiplier only if the player also has the devil card bo slash book of Belial effect. Interesting. Okay. So let's hit it the blood and martyr, get some damage up there. So that's sweet. Look at that. Our tears are red because we're shooting blood tears now. A lot of a uh, lot of religious symbolism in this game. Um, kind of mockingly. Uh, at times, I suppose. Kind of tongue-in-cheek, I feel. Uh, it's one of the reasons, actually, Nintendo... This game was originally going to come out on a Nintendo DS, I believe. Um, and it's one of the reasons Nintendo were against having this game on their console, because of the, the religious uh, imagery. I bet they're kicking themselves now, because this game has done really, really well. All right, I'm going to go in this room, because sometimes... You'd have to take damage to get in, but sometimes you get good items from these rooms. This time we got some flies, that's not too bad. Now I'm pretty sure I saw a heart there. Was it a full heart or a half heart? We dropped we definitely dropped a heart back in this room. So we're gonna go and get that. We're gonna go full heart. Wonderful. Take that with me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna go on to the boss room now and uh, see how this goes. What boss will we get today? I don't know. Oh boy. Uh uh, oh, I can open this up now without a worry. And uh, it's given me the cat. Uh, now that is a um, that is a spacebar item that will replace my head. You can only have one spacebar at a time. I don't remember what it does, so I'm gonna have to check. Uh, why can't I find the cat's head? There it is. It's Tammy's head. Fires ten tears in a circle around the player. Okay. And uh, three charge time is one room. Okay, let's uh, let's give that one a go then. Let's, let's try out Tammy's here. It's best to always get the items. Now apparently... Okay, now apparently what I know about this game is that basically getting an item, even if you don't want it, picking it up, for example the spacebar item, and then using it, and then replacing it back with another one you have. It's pretty, it's always a good idea, because then it removes it from the pool of items that can get picked by random. So it increases the chance of you getting other items, better items. So it's always a good idea, shit. Well, I didn't even use the item there, and I got hit a couple of times, so that was good. And I unlocked a radioactive spider, so neat. I'm gonna use the item here just to show you guys what it does. Look at that, wonderful. We'll keep that for now. That is the belt. The belt of speed up. Let's just check. Yep, just says speed up, so that's just all it does right there. Uh, right, we're going to carry on here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me see. That would work out so much better for me. Yeah, that's, that's way better. That means I don't have to click off the screen now. Alright, we're dropping down to the caves one. Okay. Oh, he looks like he's having a—he looks like he's having a little heart attack there. 
Alright, there's one, here we are. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. These guys are coming at me now. Like something crazy. Whoa. They're shooting at me, they're coming for me. Oh, oh floating heads. Floating gross, super gross floating heads. I don't I don't really know what that's about. Uh, oh, another one of these damage rooms. We're not gonna. We're not gonna go in there. We're not gonna go in there. We have a key. Uh, we don't have the skeleton key anymore because we've gone down a floor. So we're not gonna. We're not gonna bother, bother, worry about that or bother with that. Or Let's blow up the TNT. There we go. Putting, blowing up TNT. Uh, basically, just to kill something around them. Uh, I'm gonna put down this bomb here because that is. See that rock is a different color. That means it's a fake rock. And inside those rocks, often you'll find soul hearts. So it's always a good idea to blow them up. Sometimes you'll find an item called uh, stone. I think it's just called stone or rock or something like that. And that's good. That that is damage up, I believe. I will check. <laughs> I'm tr a lot of people. It's called the small rock, and it is damage up and tears up apparently. But it does put your speed down. A lot of people are very into this game and will shout at me when I get stuff wrong in the comments. So, even though I don't read the comments that much anymore because um, they depress me sometimes. <laughs> so, you know, either way. If you, wanna, if you really want me to check out your comments, I highly suggest checking out the Milby Reddit, which is pretty underutilized at the moment. And I've been meaning to promote it a lot more recently. And I'm really hoping to, like, get people going there and stuff, so... Yeah, I wouldn't mind if like people checked out the Milby Reddit. That's I like I always check out the Milby Reddit um, when I release videos uh, more than the uh, YouTube comment section because um, I like Reddit more than YouTube for comments wise. <laughs> it's a bit more filtered and regulated by a bit. I mean, it's filtered. It's it's even it's even it's it's just filtered. You know, it's it's. There is some filter going on there, which there is none for uh, YouTube, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, yeah, definitely check out the Milby Reddit. I'm gonna start being, I'm gonna start be mentioning that every video I do now. I'm gonna link to it in the description as well. I would really like it to become a place for um, the herd, which is the collective name I've given for you all, to like gather and you know chat and stuff like that. Whoa, this guy's fast. He is usually quite fast, but he's really fast now. Holy crap. Look how fast this guy is. I've got a bit of bomb to bomb that fake wall with, so that's pretty useful. There we go. And that gives us a pill. Now the pills are pretty cool. You see pills, uh, it's totally random what effect they'll give you until you use them. So at the moment, we don't know what white and blue pills do. I press Q and find out what they do. And it gives me that I found pills and ate them. Yeah. Um, basically, that... Well, as that doesn't do anything. What that does is it just makes it makes you look like an makes you look like Lenny from the Mice and Men, and um, <laughs> and then and then that's it. Oh, uh, now the green one. I believe that's actually a pretty good one. Let's check. The green one is Roid Rage, and it has a 0.6 player speed up. Uh, apparently, it's falsely labeled as range stat up. So. Yeah, so the range doesn't happen. The common coal has appeared in the basement. Nice. So that makes us faster. So that's wonderful. So that's, that's really good. I've got to be careful with certain items. I don't think I have any of those items right now. Certain, uh, like, damage up items don't react very well together. And uh, I've got to be careful when I pick those because some of them will override other ones. I don't want that. I want, uh, want something good. Anyway, to the skull. We're fighting Peep. Looks like a lump of fat. Peeps, not my favorite boss in the world. Basically, it jumps up in the air. Every time it jumps up, it uh, land, lands, it lets off a bunch of. I've got to assume it's piss. Ow, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so I've got to assume that what he's firing off there is piss. Oh, there comes one of his eyes, has popped out. This guy is gross. <laughs> This guy is is pretty grim. There we go. I should have already kept the shoot the whoop thing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Oh, both of his eyes right now. Both of his eyes are popped out and floating around the room. Oh, that's gross. You actually, I, sh I think you get an item from this guy called Peep's Eye, which is just an item which floats around. Again, I'm taking damage here, which I really shouldn't be. Because, I mean, if you know what you're doing, you really shouldn't get hit too much by this guy. This game is not easy, I just want to say. Um, some people make it look very easy, but it definitely is. When you're first playing this game, you're going to struggle pretty hard. What did I get? I think that's Mum's Pants. And what do they do? Mum's Underwear. They are plus 7.7 .7 range up, so I'll take that. I don't know what these 7 point things mean. I'm just reading what I see on the website. The website I'm using to check out items, by the way, is Platinum God. Amazing website. It's called a cheat screen, but I, I don't care. <laughs> There's so many items in this game. It's um, I should probably explain the plot to this game too, because I haven't yet. I just I keep assuming that everyone's played this game. Um, the plot of this game, basically, you're this kid, and uh, you've fallen down. You've gone into your basement because your mum, who's a religious fanatic, thinks she hears God. Again, symbolism. And has decided to kill you, and thinks God's telling her to kill you. And so you've, you've, you've went into this basement. It's all very strange, the game. There's a lot of, like interesting ideas behind it, people theorizing and may not actually have fallen down into a basement and it's just all imagining it and it's it's kind of complex. We're not going to worry about that, we're just going to worry about the game itself. The, the plot of this game doesn't really interest me, it's more, I'm more interested about playing it itself. So we have two items here. Ooh. Okay, so the two items we have here are Guppy's head, um, uh, so basically, this is a. I believe this is a. This is a. This is a spacebar item, and when we use it, it spawns two to four blue flies, which damage nearby enemies. You saw those blue flies we had. It basically spawns those, and it, it also counts towards one of the uh, one of the items towards Guppy State, which is an awesome state, in which uh, you become a cat and you fly around and you get this item. You unlock an item called Guppy's Hairball. Which is another amazing item. Uh, Guppy's pretty good. He flies, and I can't exactly remember what all the stats were in when you're in Guppy mode. But yeah. Anyway, let's write this one as well here. Oh, I didn't mean to get that, but never mind. <laughs> Spirit of the night. Spirit of the night. That is give the player the ability to fly and shoot spectral tears. Uh, basically, basically, what I did there was I sacrificed some of my health to pick that up, and um, see now that I lost two red hearts. So red hearts are permanent hearts. Blue hearts are temporary hearts. You see now I can shoot and fly above rocks though, which is pretty useful. So I've gained a lot of maneuverability now, and I am pretty damn fast, which is pretty great. So we're gonna drop that. Um, so yeah, basically, when you go to the devil rooms, you have the chance to sacrifice permanent health for the chance to gain usually pretty decent items. Some of them are pretty crap, but some of them are pretty damn decent as an item when we don't have any keys. So we're gonna go find some keys. Now, I'm pretty sure these are anuses that fire off explosive poisonous things. I, well, I don't want poisonous, explosive though. I think they're supposed to be anuses, but again, I don't really know. Now these, what these do is these release spiders when they get too big. There we go. We managed to stop that from releasing spiders. Because we can fly, we can fly over the spikes, which normally would appear. These guys, um... These guys look like ball sacks, and apparently are modeled after the ball sacks of one of Edmund's cats. I'm pretty sure I, Edmund used to stream a bit, or Edmund's wife used to stream a bit, I should say. And you, you, you'd hear, like, different insights into the game. It was always pretty fun to watch. And I'm pretty sure they said at one point that those flies are modeled after one of their cat's bollocks. They look like penis ball flies. I may be making that up and imagining it, but I'm convinced that I heard you say that once. The, the creator of this, Edmund, is a very cool guy. I've I've seen him I've seen him like um, in streams with people and chatting with people about games. He seems like a very down to earth sort of level headed guy. It's, it's very interesting to hear him talk about things and how he feels about stuff. 
definitely check him out. Ooh. Oh, I don't remember this one. This is this is the little buddy that we get following us. It's pretty much always worth taking these. Uh, this guy is called Ghost Baby, uh, a familiar which follows you the player and shoots spectral tears. The players do 3.5 damage each and do not scale with damage stat change. I don't know that one. It's actually a bug. If you take this item, if you get that item with the holy water, it'll turn into a different item until you use the item. And, um,. Interesting fact there. So now we're shooting two sets of spectral tears. And it's always fun when you get loads of little followers following you around. You have like a little trail of followers and stuff like that. Wow, I am moving way too fast right now. Finding it. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That was pretty amazing. You know what? I'm actually quite liking Guppy's head at the moment. Not Guppy's head. Max's head. What's it called? I, I forgot. It wasn't. No, it's Tammy's head. I'm pretty sure the cat's names in this movie are named after Edmund's cats as well. Uh, Tammy said, yeah, I'm pretty sure Tammy's one of their cats. Which is quite funny. Mm, I don't think it's worth going in the shop. I don't really have any money. I haven't really found any money this run, which is interesting. Well, that is a battle room. Uh, basically, you go in here, and there's, an, uh, there's a chest. Uh, I don't think it's going to be worth opening that chest and taking on what's in this room, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. Um, basically, you open the chest, there's a chance you'll get something interesting, maybe, and then you have to fight a bunch of enemies. Um, I don't want to do that. It looks like it. I, mm, you know what, I will. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it, because I think people are going to shout it. Oh, the crystal oh, a trinket. Well, that was kind of worth it, I guess. I don't remember what that trinket does. I will check up once I remove all of these enemies from around me. Whoa, that was close. I don't know if I actually hit any of these guys. So those guys are like... I don't know what they are. Like, they look like hit. They, I don't know what they're supposed to be. They look like dust balls that shoot flies. They basically spawn flies out of them. The flies in this are a surprisingly large killer of mine. You'd be quite surprised. I've got to say, I'm doing a lot better at this than my streamer. Usually because my mind is sort of like torn between the game and the chat. It's very hard to concentrate on the game you're chatting as well. So this is the Cursed Skull. This is a trinket. Now a trinket occupies a totally different slot to any of those items we've seen so far. It'll appear in the uh, left-hand corner. So when you're hit, there's a one and a half, uh, when, it, when you're hit with a half a red heart remaining, you're teleported to the previous room. It does not count soul hearts, and therefore this item will teleport. Okay. Oh, I see. So if you're, you're, the, if you're the character that you can unlock later called the dead baby, or the question marks. Or question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, basically, every time you get hit, you teleport to a room. Which is pretty annoying, so you don't want to pick that as the dead baby, really. Oh dear. Let me get rid of these heads. Pretty sure if those heads hit you with their, with their shots, they take your money from you. Kind of annoying. Okay, we're going down into the boss room. Let's see what we've got. Mm, was it worth it? No, I'm not going to go into the shop. It's the Hollow! This is a pretty easy boss, if I remember rightly. Oh no, no, this is not the boss I was thinking of. This is like an upgraded version of the boss we saw earlier, which was the, um... The two dudes... Flown around. This is sort of like a... Sort of maybe... I don't know if the word... I don't know if the word difficult... I think difficult would be more appropriate. I think if I wasn't able to fly, I'd be fighting this one. Night. I was pretty dumb I got hit there. I, was, I could have avoided taking damage there. The Spelunker has appeared in the basement. That is a new item. The Jesus Juice. Now the Jesus Juice. Um, this ups my damage and up my range. Apparently it's falsely marked as the tiers stat up on the in-game description. Oh, so the tiers up thing is wrong. It's just damage up and 
range up. Okay. There's a lot of bugs in this game. It was made in Flash, and apparently, according to the creator Edmund, there's stuff they wanted to add to this game, but if they literally, they, they literally couldn't add anything else to this game, or it would stop working. They've crammed everything they can into a little Flash game. This is why it's being remade now in a game called um, Binding of Isaac Rebirth, which is a which is a remake of this game done in um, the graphical style that Edmund actually, I think, originally wanted to do it in, which is this cool sort of Game Boy. Uh, uh, sort of oh, it's sort of retro look, and um, look, that game was the right word. It's more just like a chill, you know, different look, and um, I gotta say, it looks pretty great. It's been done. It's being made uh, from the bottom up um, with all the current content and a whole bunch of more content. It's gonna be pretty amazing, and I'm definitely looking to showing you guys that game when it comes out. Nice thing. I'll check out two of those. Oh boy. Come the green guys, come on. There she go. That, oh, got some bombs, I'm happy with that. Oh, these guys are a pain in the bum. I don't know what they're supposed to be, they cannot again... look like anuses that shoot maggots out. A lot of the things in this game look like anuses. Maybe that's me thinking that, maybe I have some, like, obsession with anuses. Well, I think a lot of the things in this game look like a small rock has appeared in this basement. Uh, I believe we got that because we broke a certain amount of rocks. Or something like that. Oh, right. You want to be careful with this guy. Basically, there's lots of different ways to unlock items in this game. You'll get, you'll pretty much get them all just through playing the game. Alright, should we kill that guy? That was pretty lucky of us. Uh, that guy, if you hit him when he's too close, wait, well, if you hit him, when you kill him, I should say, he explodes. So if you're too close to him, he hurts you, and uh, nobody wants that. Whoa, that was close. These, right, these head statue things are super annoying because you can't kill them, and um, they just shoot at you all the time. So what does this do? Telepills into the shop. Wow, that's actually saved me a key. That's pretty good. Right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to buy a soul heart because I need that. And I'm going to buy a key. I believe that is Mum's purse. Uh, is that here? Mum's purse. I think what that does is it allows you to... There it is. Mum's coin purse. Oh, no, that is spawns four random pills around the player. I thought that was the trinket thing, so... We don't have enough money for that anyway, so we're not gonna... Do I gotta say, shooting these fire things is pretty good, usually, because you can get, like, uh, money out of them. When you're when you're using the... Uh, like, like that. When you're using the... Um, the spectral tears, it becomes really annoying to get rid of them. Because not all your... It takes way longer because not all your tears hit them, so I'm not just... Like, they have to, like, go through and affect them. It's really strange. It's really odd. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Save me, Tammy. Well, I gotta say, I've never really been a user of Tammy. I'm starting to come around. Tammy. Tammy forgot to your item. Woo, lots of keys. Before we had no keys. Now we have plenty of keys. Go, oh, Tammy. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So these guys are, like dudes who are somehow moving around whilst being hung, which is interesting. As you can see, not all the flies seem to count as enemies in this. Oh, more maggots from anuses, which I, I don't know. Are you anuses? I don't know. Confirmation needed on anus. <laughs> well, that's not something you, you think you're going to say really ever, is it? Confirmation needed on anus? Confirmation needed on anus. Well, we took a we took a hit there. That not good, not good. Because now we are we are on pretty low health right now. Um, mm, we have half a soul heart and a full heart. Oh boy! 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is oh no! Oh, the heart. The stupid fucking skull. 
God damn that skull. It makes me basically have to fight this guy twice. Ah, uh, I knew I felt I had a feeling that was gonna happen. That is a shame. Well, I didn't make it there in my first go, guys, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. I enjoyed that. That was actually pretty fun. I might continue doing this. We'll see. I might probably record a bunch of these, and if I like it, then I'll um, I'll, uh, I'll do more. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, everybody. I enjoyed playing that. That was really fun. Um, I've been Milby. This has been the Binding of Isaac. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, well, this is actually it's one of those games that I don't really remind recording. Remind mind recording. Sorry, I just like burp talk then. I just ate like a whole pizza before this and it's, oh, it's on my stomach. It's stupidly early in the morning, I ate a whole pizza. I don't know, it's, it was like two for one, a pizza hut. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Why am I telling you this? You don't care. Thank you for watching, everybody. I've been Millie, Binding of Isaac. Hope to see you next time. <laughs> and remember, we will be waiting. That's not this game. Oops.